vulnerable countries in the world. The catastrophic floods of last year illustrated this vulnerability. But these may be just the tip of the iceberg unless we arrest global warming. Pakistan is profoundly grateful to the UN Secretary General for his active solidarity and mobilization of global support for my country in the wake of the floods last year. Excellencies, due to our well-established climate vulnerability, adaptation is a critical priority for Pakistan. We have recently adopted our first ever national adaptation plan to build climate resilience. Our next step is the projections and costing of the interventions identified in the adaptation plan complemented by a comprehensive resource mobilization strategy. We will also enhance our efforts to integrate adaptation into our planning process. In the second phase of the plan, we would prepare a sector-specific investment framework which could serve as a blueprint to translate identified adaptation needs and strategies into tangible and bankable projects. Complementing our national adaptation plan, we have launched the Living Indus Initiative, a menu of 25 interventions aimed at restoring the ecological health of the Indus River Basin. Excellencies, disaster risk management is a cross-cutting priority in our national adaptation plan. Within the last year, we have undertaken significant steps in enhancing Pakistan's early warning capacity, including by updating our national flood protection plan. Excellencies, although Pakistan has not contributed to the problem of global warming, we have chosen to be a part of the solution. Pakistan seeks to produce 60% of its energy from renewable sources by 2030. This energy transition will cost over US $100 billion and will require international support. Excellencies, while economic arguments are constructed around climate change, a cultural nuance uh, deserves attention too, which can contribute towards the solution-based approach on the climate change crisis. The Holy Quran says in Surah Yunus, verses 14, Summa ja'alnakum khala'ifa fil arde min ba'dihim linanzuru kaifa ta'maloon. Thus we have made you trusty on the earth after them to see how you would act. Therefore, Islam promotes a responsibility to protect the environment, utilize and harness natural resources efficiently, and undertake a sustainable and equitable approach towards nature as a public good. Such a mindset must derive climate action today. To achieve the climate goals, all of us, rich and poor, north and south, must therefore raise our ambition. Yet climate justice also entails providing developing countries like Pakistan with the financial and technological means to realize these higher ambitions. This will be the litmus test of solidarity and perhaps for the survival of our species on our injured planet. I thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. I would now like Nazreen Nigra Wazir Azam, Anwarul Hakkakar, Climate Ambition Summit mein izhari khayal kar rahe thay. Aap ne brahe raas mulaiza kiya. Unho ne kaha ke pichle saal selaab ne Pakistan ko bepanah mutasir kiya. Global warming ne puri dunia bil khusus Pakistan ko buri tarah mutasir kiya hai. Pakistan akwaam mutahidah ke Secretary General Antonio Guterres ke dore Pakistan ke liye unka shukur guzar hai. Hum ne National Adaptation Plan ke tahat agaz kar diya hai. Early Global Warming Capacity ke hawale se muktif ikdamat uthai ja rahe hai. Pakistan Global Warming ke system में अपना मौसर किरदार अदा करता रहेगा